Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Martin, welcome to another episode of our Trade in 212 series now. Uh, it's been a little while since we did it because basically I've been trying to focus on the actual real life trading, you know, on the, on the Hummingbird app, but I, I realised that hey, it's been a little while since we started trading 212, so let's, um, you know, let's get back on the grind, uh, back on the practice trading, because we do obviously need, everyone needs practice, I need, I need a lot of, a lot, a lot of practice, so um, yeah, I thought we should reach top back in, so basically, uh, I do have a lot of screenshots, so I will show and explain them now. Okay, so our first trade of this episode consists of a pound to the, I must say Japanese yen, pound to the South African ran 15,000 on a sell, uh, gave us a nice net profit of 30 pounds. That's a very good trade to start off, relatively good size then. Um, I decided, hey, you know what, Bitcoin's looking a little bit fire recently, look at that. Definitely not 3 o'clock in the morning, but um, but yeah, uh, you know, 4,300, I was like, okay. This short is surely gonna go up a little bit. Oh wait, I got stopped out at minus two hundred and thirty-six pounds. That is not good. You know, fell all the way from like forty-four hundred all the way down to forty-two hundred. That's the, that's just not acceptable. That's really bad. So, but we managed to recover ourselves. So this is another little trade, very little trade. Uh, it was a six pound profit. You know, not really redeeming, but you know, getting there, small steps. Six pound profit on the euro to the USD. And yeah, let's look at and analyze these trades. Okay, so basically we're leaving off where we left off last. We're carrying on, sorry, where we left off from last episode. That was um, this pound to the the pound to the uh, South African rand trade we made. And um, actually, it might have been a little bit after that, but basically, I'll just include this one. So basically, we 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 hit that on a buy, buy low quantity of fifteen thousand. Uh, that rose from seventeen point five two all the way to seventeen point five five five. So that's a point, you know, that's a point zero, point zero three five profit right there. That's that's some good profit. That's some good. That's a good. That's a good leap upwards. You know, from the from the lower ranges of the point five to the high ranges of the point five. It's pretty good. Pretty good going. So that that netted us a thirty pound profit right here and now we move on to the more recent trade so after that we hit hit a little bit of a slump you know it's a reoccurring theme i can't get away from bitcoin decided to buy bitcoin this is when um it had a big big spike up so i was like okay boom i hop on the trend you know hop on the trend and hopefully carry on going up a little bit soon as i hopped on shot down hit my stop loss literally no more than a few no more than half a day you know 12 hours 15 hours later hit my stop loss at 236 Problem with Bitcoin, you, you can't have tight stop losses and take profits like I do with the currencies. You just you just can't. You have to have the stop losses have to be really wide, you know, so a couple hundred back, and your uh, take profits can be a little bit closer. So, like for example, if I open a trade uh, on Bitcoin, should we look at Bitcoin? See how it's doing while I explain. But basically, if you open a Bitcoin trade. Um, if, if I would open one right now, I would only be able to set a stop loss at, um, you know, so let, let's say minus 200. That's the the lowest, you know, that's a very, that's the closest I can get um, the stop loss to. That's the tightest as I can get it. And that's not tight at all. I should be able to set it at minus 60, 70. So it's, it's quite a big shame. But um, but the tape of it, I, I, I can. And, and and I do set it quite um quite closer a lot of tire usually my take profit is about eight about seventy eighty you know it's no more than a hundred basically I'm um, looking at Bitcoin now we know it has had a huge upsurge recently it was meddling about you know slight slight signs of an uptrend you know all the way from what forty two hundred for the best part forty three hundred over the course of uh over the course of uh two days there and it took a big big shoot up. Big big uptrend, you know, one candle system boop over the course of about an hour. Uh, it rose from you know 4300 all the way to 4500. Company sat at 4573. What I think will happen, uh, in my opinion, is I think it will grow a little bit more. Might you know, we could be his, it could be seeing the 5000 mark soon, but I think to, if it, it big word, if if it hits the 5000 mark. It's going to be a psychological barrier for people. People are going to, people are going to go, oh shit, it's, it's hit 5,000. Quick, sell, sell, sell. People who have, have open trades are going to get out of 5,000. They, they're not going to want to go over that 5,000 mark at all. Um, so I think if it does hit 5,000, it will be a bit of a barrier. And say if it hits 5,000, it will drop straight back to say 4,800, 4,700. That's my, that's my spin on it. But yeah, we opened this trade on Bitcoin, made a bit of a loss. Uh, but we move on swiftly, basically. So, um... Now we have trades after that. We have this euro to the USD, uh, tiny, tiny profit, six, six pounds fifty. Not going to talk about that one much. 
you know, sell 1.180 to 1.17. I only a small quantity, small quantity. Um, you know, it didn't really move that much in my favor, so that's why I took out a little bit earlier than expected. Now, the pound to the pound South African Rand, the most recent trade we've had, actually, it, you know, uh, it, hit, it hit its take profit today. I made it on I made that trade on my phone, all mostly trades I make on my phone. Um yeah, that, that hit a very nice profit for us. Fifty-three pounds uh, on the sell. Uh sixteen point nine one fell to sixteen point eight six. Let's take a look at the pound to the South African Rand right about now. Uh see what it's saying for us. Pound South African Rand. Company sat at sixteen point seven eight. So if I were to leave it, sixteen point uh Oh, sorry, yeah, 16 point. Yeah, if I had left it a little bit longer, you know, would have hit, it would have hit a profit, but I'm happy how I took it out. See, big drop there. That's where I made my money. Big drop there. Hit my hit my take profit along the way, and then it carried on going down, but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, look at over the longer term. It has been frequently going down. Let's get the candlesticks. Where's the candlesticks, man? Um, yeah, you know, the RAND hasn't been doing it as well recently. Um, yeah, the pound... You know, it's weird because you expect the RAND to do a little bit better just because of the fact that England are having so many problems at the minute. Um, but it, it did grow. It, it just basically, it just, it just, you know, um, this is like going up the hill as, as soon as, as soon, you know, at some point you have to come down the hill. So that literally, it's just like a canyon. It's just like, woo, woo. So that's all it looks like. You have a little dip in the middle for like a lake or something. I don't know. I'm talking, I'm talking rubbish, but. But yeah, um, basically, it could hit what I think is going to happen. It's going to hit the support level around about here, and then it's just—I think it will go up from there. So it could see a bit more of a downtrend to the more sixteen point. What's that? Sixteen point six level. So um, could be seeing a little bit more uh, loss on the South, South African end, a little bit more gain on the uh, on the pound end. So um, so yeah, that, those are my trades. Um, there's the trades I've made. Uh, company account value sat at basically seven hundred pound. We would have been sat at what, roughly nine hundred, nine fifty, if I didn't have that Bitcoin trade. Could have been over a thousand if that Bitcoin trade was the other way. So um, yeah, a little bit annoying. So we start, we start. Remember, we started off at five hundred pound. Company on six nine two. Um, yeah, um, I'm not really too fond of making any trades at the minute, but I have noticed that I, I can't. Yeah. This is what I was going to say. But trade 2 and 2 has had a bit of an update uh, right here. You can see this is, this is like crazy stuff. Um, so then they added like proper uh, sections. So we have, our, we have our stocks, so our CFDs. We have our Forex currencies. We have our cryptocurrencies. Oh, wow, I didn't actually see these. So we obviously have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. But we actually have Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin Mini. Let's look at Ripple. I've never seen Ripple before. Look at this month look it's just, look it's worthless it's worthless to boof you know this this is some interesting so this could be a one to hold on for long term maybe ripple i've never heard of it before this is literally my first time ever seeing this in in life so i, I it's obviously it is a cryptocurrency but i don't know what what sort of cryptocurrency is it similar to bitcoin similar to ethereum i have no idea um but that's very interesting now uh, the stocks these are ones i really really want to get into i really want to get into so you know your um your companies so your you know the ones that make up the the ones that make up the uh the uk cfd you know thing as it is um so basically uh if if you if i were to just buy uk stocks to so say your FTSE your FTSE stocks um that would be influenced by all of these you know, and so being able to pick specific ones, that's really cool. Um, let's, 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 um, let's pick a couple that I wouldn't usually look at. Sainsbury's, we look at Sainsbury's, no, as we look at Rolls Royce. What Rolls Royce looking at? 8.9, that's pretty decent. That's a very interesting price. So yeah, I want to get into the, the CFDs a lot more. Um, because that's what I'm kind of going for at the minute. You know, I, I, I'm i preferring, you know, trading with actual proper stocks rather than the Forex at the minute. I've, I've I've just read my book and my Forex book. I've completed that. I've got to do the quiz and stuff. But um, but no, I'm leaning towards actual stocks. Um, 
<clears throat> than your currencies. But I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still learning all of it basically. It actually could be one to buy into. Ooh, I have to keep, I have to, I have to keep an eye on that one. World's Voice could be something to buy into. So yeah. But no, basically, um, we'll be exploring a lot of the uh, CFDs. Maybe a couple, maybe a couple of cryptocurrencies. We have all our commodities now, all of our indices, stuff like that. You know, our, our futures. Um, we have them. We had them previously anyway. ETFs. Oh, this is this is a new one. I haven't seen this before. Don't know what any of these means. <laughs> um, you fit and stuff. Cool. So yeah, this is all pretty lit. So basically, I'm gonna scour through all these. Uh, and see what we can do. Uh, but basically, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll have a new hummingbird trading later uh, later on this week. It's a bit crazy. Like, by crazy, I don't know. Do I mean good? Do I mean bad? Oh, I don't know. You have to wait and see. I I, I, yeah, it's been, it's been a bit rough. So <laughs> we'll wait and see what that does. But yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm going to check all these out. Like every single one of these, every single CFD in the world. Maybe not all of them because there's like. 200 or something here. Oh, that's 69. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, um, we should have a nice day. Stay safe and peace.